Now, we just saw uh, the head of SpaceX, Elon Musk, giving, I imagine, something of a pep talk to the astronauts uh, ahead of their launch at, at around uh, 11.39 uh, French time. Uh, Ketavan, Elon Musk, uh, really a driving force behind this mission. Yes, uh, it's his company, SpaceX, that's uh, basically uh, doing the uh, the sort of Uber to the International uh, Space Station. SpaceX is really in charge of that travel to the International uh, Space Station. Uh, they're taking care uh, of uh, that launch and of uh, those 24 hours until uh, that uh, Dragon capsule uh, docks into uh, the International uh, Space Station. And uh, what needs to be said about uh, SpaceX is that it has uh, some somehow uh, renewed uh, the uh, U.S. Uh, space program, uh, especially here at the Kennedy uh, Space Center. Yesterday, I was speaking uh, to a, a NASA commentator, Daryl uh, uh, Nail, and he was uh, telling me that uh, for about a decade uh, before 2020, so basically pretty much between 2011 and 2020, uh, there were no more launches of manned uh, flights uh, to space from here, from the Kennedy uh, Space Center. And it felt a little bit for them, for the people working here at uh, NASA, like uh, there was a sort of a lull in the U.S. Uh, space program, uh, especially for the people here at Kennedy uh, Space Center. Uh, that was a big deal because uh, you have to remember that this location, especially Launch Pad 39A, that's the launch pad from which uh, the, the Falcon 9 uh, will be uh, lifting off from, uh, that's a historic launch pad. It's uh, the launch pad, launch pad from which uh, they sent uh, many Apollo missions, many space shuttles. And so uh, he was saying that to see uh, SpaceX basically bringing back those uh, manned flights uh, to space uh, was really uh, bringing them a lot of pride, a lot of happiness, because at some point he said we didn't lose hope, but we were a little bit worried, a little bit saddened by uh, the fact that we didn't have uh, any launches of manned flight uh, to space. And so uh, he uh, was telling me that uh, the fact that uh, NASA was able to partner with this uh, private company, with this uh, commercial uh, partner, and to bring in, bring back international partners uh, also uh, for that Crew-1 mission and now with uh, Crew-2, that this was really a sort of a, a new beginning for the U.S. space program, for the Kennedy uh, Center, for NASA too. And all of that is uh, in part thanks uh, to SpaceX, thanks uh, to Elon Musk, who, uh, who thought and believed in uh, that project and they're uh, now basically uh, renting out uh, a part of uh, this uh, Kennedy uh, Space Center to sum things up a little bit uh, to simplify and uh, they're working in a partnership with NASA with the Kennedy Space Center to uh, get those astronauts into the International Space Station into space. Okay thanks Ketavan. Now